All right, update video back in the car. Uh, I actually brought the little black box into this town, <laughs> but I forgot my tools, so it's gonna be a little uh, interesting. Um, another thing too is that I didn't think I properly, uh, um, I don't think I properly bled my cooling system. There's a little uh, valve on top of the thermostat housing near the back of the engine that you're supposed to open when you change the thermostat to bleed the system. I didn't do that. So today we're gonna try that out and actually I'm gonna try that out first and then I'm gonna try this bad boy out because if I don't have to replace it and go through the trouble then might as well not. But for shits and giggles I might just do it anyways. So. The blow off is right here. So all you need to do is crack that open, uh, let's start the car, and then open this guy up. And then watch the coolant. Watch the coolant flow because of your water pump. All right, so I ended up finding a 12 and a 10. So hopefully that works out when I need it. So I ended up finding a 12 to pop this bleeder open. So let's see if that works in any way. Uh, just to let you know it's not this easy. I actually already popped it open. <laughs> so all I did was attach a 10 and a 12 together. So not too not too bad. All right, I got it cracked just a little bit. So hopefully that's enough. And got my funnel. And I got my coolant ready. So hopefully that's it. So moment of truth, start the car. All right, so it's bleeding it. So I can start. Let's see if it does anything. It's just a waste of a lot of coolant, to be honest. It's starting to mellow out right now, so let's go see the temperature gauge. It's pretty close to medium right now, so it's gonna be very interesting to how far it goes. The fans don't work, remember. not seeing is is the water pump at work right now. You're supposed to see some flow through the radiator, the water pump working itself. So I got nothing yet. I think the only positive thing though is that there's still air coming out of the radiator. Another trick you possibly do is turn on your heater. You have to turn your heater on high. And that will turn on your heater core, which again, will try to get all the air out of your system as well because it's another little part that makes the water flow or the coolant flow. So, it's already been past five minutes and still no cooling fans at all. Um, I'm actually gonna try the fan timer right now. So, let's get to it. All right, so I just put the new one in uh, and still no difference at all whatsoever. Uh, for some reason, it still reads about warm <laughs> and it's been about 10 minutes. So uh, I guess they can classify that as uh, no. Uh, this isn't being bled too at the same time. 
It's still not opening. Brand new thermostat, brand new uh, sw uh, fan switch, a uh, new old fan timer. Uh, anything left is the TW switch. Uh, again, I don't know what else it could be. Uh, I'm actually gonna turn off my car because I don't want to damage it, and I'm gonna take off the fan switch and then connect it using a paper clip to turn the fans on to cool the engine down like it's supposed to.